Louisa May Alcott. Often cited as one of the pivotal writers of young women's literature and feminist ideas, her most famous work, Little Women, has been enchanting readers for decades. I can remember my first encounter with the story when I was about six years old. For many, their first encounter with her work was when they had to read the novel in school, but mine was in the form of an anime film version that we owned on VHS. However, for a story so familiar to many fans of literature, I knew surprisingly little about the author herself. When looking into information about Louisa May Alcott, I discovered a few articles that detailed her life, specifically pertaining to her relationship with her father. The relationship the two had was a source of inspiration for several characters in the book, and renders a rather interesting tale. The easiest way to start any story is from the beginning, so that's exactly what I'll do. The beginning of Louisa May Alcott's story began on November 29, 1832, when she was born in Germantown, Pennsylvania, to her parents, Bronson and Abigail May Alcott. Alcott had three sisters, very similar to the character Joe in Little Women. In fact, Little Women really is very similar to her family, in particular her father. Bronson Alcott. However, it may not be in the way that you may think. Although Alcott enjoyed the company of her mother and her sisters, her relationship with her father was a tumultuous one, changing as often as her father changed professions. He was first and foremost an, an aspiring writer and philosopher, but he came from a family of subsistence farmers. He married into money, Alcott's mother, came from a successful merchant family, and used it to further his career as a professional lecturer. He also managed to dabble in farming and other pursuits. At one point, he was a schoolmaster and founder for Temple School, a forward-thinking religious school in Boston. He was charming, intelligent, and had many aspirations but he sometimes chose those over the happiness and stability of his family. Alcott and her sisters were sources of writing inspiration for him, and he would keep journals of how he praised and punished them, then study their reactions to that praise and punishment. He once bought a farm on a whim and didn't plan enough food to have th through the winter. This led to Alcott be feeling conflicted about her father. She admired him for his qualities that made him a good philosopher, but those same qualities made him a poor father. It is because of this that I suspect the father in the March sisters' household is purposely absent. He is made out to be a loving, devoted father with many wonderful religious teachings. But perhaps this is Alcott's thoughts of how she wished her father to be viewed. As an idea, he would be great, but in person, not so much. Ultimately, the whole reason Alcott wrote Little Women was because of her father. Once he realized she had a talent for writing, he pushed her to pursue a career in it, but it seems that it wasn't without its benefit for him as well. When asked to write a story for young girls, Alcott at first refused, but the publisher told her that if she did so, they would publish her father's book of philosophy as well. When he heard this news, he then went to Alcott and also started trying to convince her to write a young story for girls. It conflicted against her personal beliefs of what she wanted to be as a writer but ultimately she ended up doing it, and in result, her father's book of philosophy was published as well. So, she did this, appeasing her father, and appeasing the publishers in the process. I think the end, in the end, all she really wanted 
was to be accepted by him and to have the ideal relationship that Joe and her father have in the book. To think, we may not have had this work of literary greatness had it not been for the relationship between the two of them. Ultimately, Little Women is Alcott's way of preserving the relationship she had with her father, or at least the one that she wished she had, and writing it down for everyone to see, and maybe that was her way of sort of atoning for his sins. Maybe if she wrote him into the book as an absent but wonderful father, maybe that would make up for some of the poor qualities that he had in real life. Louisa